Hello, this is uh, Julie Leggett from Julie Leggett Art. Thank you for joining me. Um, I've joined in a project, um, I've printed it out called from the Stitch Camp, and it's um, a little um, project using fabric. I've got all my stuff ready, and I did my first piece of fabric yesterday, um, and I'll quickly show you that it's all dried. Now, with the first piece of fabric, which is 36 times 12 inches. I needed to use um, three colours and I chose um, pistachio green, a dark green and like a beige colour as my three colours. It was supposed to be a light tone, a mid tone and a dark tone. And then uh, selected my fabrics to go with it. So these are my two fabrics. That's my palest one, which I used pistachio for, which um, is in the leaves there. And then a vintage fabric, a dotted silky fabric um, and they'll be being add, added at some stage uh, in a stitch formation right so today I'm going to do my second piece of fabric um, we're making using mark making tools and, and different things uh, to do this uh, and the idea of this one is that it's more shapes and there's more space on the fabric left so here we go so I'm going to start drawing some, I think we'll draw lots of circles as a start, some waves, so I'm just going to progress on with this, see how it takes me. Right. That was a nice wooden stick here. Let's see whether that makes any difference. Probably not really. I find uh, calico a little waxy on the top. So let's try something a little bit different. Here I've got um, something that's a bit more splayed out. It's just a twig. All right, yeah, because I use these sort of things when I'm doing my art. Um, to do undergrowth of, of plants. So let's use that and do that all along. That's it. So let's do a few circles and things at the top end here. So match it up. Some different shapes going on. Let's have one or two triangles. I think I've gone for circles because I've got the circled fabric. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing with the fabric, but um, let's just add a few, a few more circles. A few squiggles. It's quite free in just doing this. Right, this paintbrush I've ruined. It's as hard as rock. I think I've had glue on it. So I'm going to do some just dabbing with it with the pistachio. Just literally all over. That's what I'm feeling. Some more. See on my desk today. I've got to crack on with some art later. So I just wanted to get this this piece done and start it. Let's try this um twig again. Sticks. Let's see if I can do anything with this. Right, so this is the second colour. I've still got the 
with a lighter colour to put on. Got this lid. Let's see if I can do a little bit of smudging and them together a bit that's it do a bit of squirting splat oops obviously when you do this you must make sure you've got some something waterproof and plastic underneath i've got myself here a, a mickey mouse um plastic sheet that I use when the grandchildren come. some dark green here. Do a little few steps there. I'm getting there. I think I'm a bit missing across the edges here. I think I'd like um, a bit more of the lighter colour across here. A bit of, so. By the way, this is just acrylic paint I'm using. I have got um, fabric paints, but they were not the right colours, so I thought I'll just use acrylic. Um, I can actually use a, a medium to make this waterproof, and I have got some. I'm not sure I'll be able to put it on afterwards though, but I'm not too worried. Let's see if I can get some of this pistachio. Oh, and it's a lovely colour. Just brightens it up nicely. I'm 
more or less done. Put a little bit down here. And I can't see a triangle there. What's that? Another one there. I'm almost done. Yeah, I'm done. Right, okay, I'm going to let that dry and I'll get back to you.